Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLeo with using WindowsHomeServer.com and the BYOB podcast. Once you've upgraded to Windows Server codename Veil the Refresh, you'll need to change your connectors out. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to Control Panel and you'll need to remove the existing connector. Find the connector in control panels and click on uninstall. Once you've completed the uninstall, open up a browser and enter in the, the name of your server. For me, my server is called Vale Server slash connect. You will enter in https colon forward slash forward slash the name of your server. Again, mine is Vale Server. Forward slash connect. Once you've done that, click on enter or hard return and it will take you to the server. Now it says there's a problem with the website security certificate. That's okay. Click on continue to this website and you'll get the interface, which should be a green background for Windows Home Server, codename Veil Beta Refresh. Click on Download Software for Windows. Click on Run. And wait for it to find your server. Click on Next. It will verify that you have the .NET Framework on older machines, this may take a long time, but if you're running Windows 7 on a newer machine, it shouldn't take more than a minute or two. Enter in the password for your Windows Home Server. If you need to make a change to your computer description, make it now and click on Next. Choose if you'd like to wake or not wake up your computer for backups and click on Next. I would suggest being a participant in the Windows Customer Experience Improvement Program. Click on Next and let it finish up by downloading the connector software and installing it on your system. And now you are connected to the server. Click on Finish and close out your browser. Now you'll notice that I do not have shortcuts on the desktop for the dashboard or the launch pad. So you go to the start menu, you click on all programs, and you go to Windows Server Codename Veil. And I would click on open. Once you've done this, I would copy and paste to the desktop. So you now have those shortcuts.